Good morning, friends. Hi, happy Monday. Welcome back. We a little bit of a change of scenery today. It's a different room because we're getting slightly better light in here, so hopefully you guys can see. All right. <clears throat> so why don't we get started with our good morning song? Let's see, which one should we do? <clears throat> how about good morning blue jay friends and how are you today we come to meeting to sing and laugh and play and when we're up we're up and when we're down we're down and when we're in the middle we're not up or down so roll your hands real slow and roll them really fast and give your hands a clap, 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 and place them in your lap, lap, lap. Great work. All right, let's sing another really familiar one. Let's do ABCs together. You guys ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Great. I know you guys were able to follow along with that one. <clears throat> that one is really familiar. Why don't we go ahead and <clears throat> have a little bit of sunshine on our rainy, 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 rainy day. How about that? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Awesome, Blue Jay. All right. I wanted to go over a little bit of what we talked about on Friday because we've had the whole weekend to forget about what we talked about. So, here we have what's called a plant life cycle. These are the stages that a plant goes through to grow. And to restart right back at the beginning, we've got a seed that then goes to j j germination, right? It starts with a G. Germination. That's when the plant starts coming out of the seed. You still can't see it at that point because it's still down in the dirt, but it's starting to poke out. It goes down to roots and stems. That's when it starts to come out starts to poke its way out of the dirt. And we have seedling. And this is probably the stage that you guys are pretty familiar with. This is what a plant looks like when it first starts to grow out of the ground. It goes all the way up to pollination. So this is a fully grown plant. A plant that's got, I don't know if you can see what I drew, it has flowers on it. And those flowers, are what creates other seeds. All right, so we're gonna do a little activity. Take a good look at this. Ah, I forgot to mention the sun right there in the middle is in the middle because it affects all stages of the plant life cycle. Every single part of this life cycle needs the sun. So, what we are going to do, excuse me, let's cut it up and then see if we can put it in the right order. Do you guys think you can? If we were together, <clears throat> I would be having you do this with me at meetings. I would ask each of you to come up 
and try and decide where each piece should go. We don't have that exact opportunity right now. So we're gonna talk about it and then put the places where they should go. But I will also be sending your parents this picture that we've been talking about. So if they would like to do this at home with you, they can as well. But this is something we're gonna be talking a lot about in the next week or two. So I think we'll get a pretty good handle on it. And you may think we're talking about this so much. Why do we keep going over this? And that is what helps you learn, my friends. That is what makes the memory stick, which is what we want. All right, almost ready. There we go. All right. I don't have an easel to put anything on with easy access. So we're gonna stick everything to the back of this book. This is gonna be our surface where our pictures are gonna go. So let's get started. I'm just gonna pick them randomly. They're face down so I can't see which one's which. Why don't we start with, what is it? It's the sun. Do we remember where the sun went? Because it affects all parts of the plant life cycle, right? The sun goes right here in the middle. It's really, really important to all parts of the life cycle. Sorry, this book is a little reflective and it's messing with the lighting. And do the best we can. All right, let's see. Ooh, how about this one? Roots and stems. What part of the plant life cycle is this? So if we have seed up here, and then we have germination, and then we have roots and stems. Oh, and this is the one that's going to be pretty familiar to you guys. It's called seedling. Seedling. That's when the plant first starts to come out of the ground. Do you remember where that went? Is that before or after roots and stems? It's after. So that goes right there. Then we have, let's see what's next. Ooh, germination. Where did that go in our plant life cycle? Was that before or after roots and stems? It's still got the seed case on it. So you can still see the seed in this stage. And the little bits of plant that are poking out are really tiny. So I think this probably comes before roots and stems. What do we have next? Ooh, pollination. So this is when the plant is fully grown and has flowers, right? It can spread its pollen, it can spread its seeds, it can grow itself at this point. And we'll talk about how those seeds are carried in just a few minutes. Pollination would come right before the beginning of the next cycle. So it's gonna be technically our last step over here after seedling. We've got one more. And this one I'm sure you guys have seen many, 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 many times too. Seed. 
plants start off as seeds. Then they will germinate. Turn this. Then they will become roots and stems. Then a seedling. Next step is pollination. And then goes back to seed. So it's a big cycle from start to finish and then start again over and over and over and over. So maybe give this a try at home. See if you can match up where all the pieces go. You guys did great. So on Friday, I believe it was Friday, we tried to plant some basil seeds. And as I said, I am not naturally very gifted with planting things, so we'll see how it goes. If we check it out now, it's had about two and a half days of growth. Nothing happening yet. The soil is still moist. It's been sitting in a spot that it gets sun, so hopefully something will start coming up soon. But about a week before that, my daughter Robin and I planted other seeds in here. I have no idea what kind of plant it is. It's some kind of flower. But I wanted to show you because they are starting to come up. And these plants, let me see if I can get it to focus. These plants are in the seedling stage. So they are starting to come up and you can see the leaves, very, very tiny leaves, tiny little plants poking through, just coming out of the dirt, no flowers. So they are just past the roots and stems stage and are now seedlings popping through. And we will keep an eye on this one too because I'm not sure what's going to come out of there. So I'm excited to see. And we can see how the plant life cycle progresses with some of those from the house too. All right. We are going to read a story we also read last week, I think on Thursday, but it's really relevant to what we are talking about. <clears throat> it's called who will plant a tree? So this is talking about when a plant is at the pollination stage, when it has flowers, when it has fruit, how those seeds and that pollen gets spread, how other things get planted. Let's see. I'm gonna do my best so everybody can see the pages. I wonder who will plant a tree. Last fall, a squirrel buried an acorn. He didn't know it, but he planted an oak tree. Seeds stuck to the messy fur of an apple-eating black bear. The bear tripped, a seed fell off, and he planted an apple tree. A goose migrated with a chestnut burr stuck to her feathers. Miles away, the burr came off. She planted a chestnut tree. A dolphin pushed a coconut into ocean currents. The coconut floated to an island and a palm tree grew. Ants marched a pine nut down their tunnel. They didn't know it they planted a pine tree. Cherry seeds got caught in the tail of a wild horse. She swished her tail. A seed fell and grew into a cherry tree. A beaver used his sharp teeth to chop down a maple tree. Crash! Maple trees were planted along the riverbank. Playful monkeys threw figs at each other. 
They planted fig trees. Stop it, don't throw food. A moose got a pear tree branch stuck in its antlers. It walked and walked. As pears fell off, trees were planted. An owl swallowed a mouse that had been eating elm tree seeds. Later, the owl coughed up an owl pellet and an elm tree grew. In the Amazon River, a paku ate a floating fruit. It pooped seeds. Trees were planted all over the rainforest. A camel chewed some dates and then spit the seeds out. It wasn't long before a seed grew into a date palm tree. A wren flies to her nest with a juniper berry in her beak. Oops, the tasty berry fell. The wren planted a juniper tree. A teacher taught her students all about trees. They went on a field trip and planted trees. What fun! Wait a second, did an elephant plant a tree? my friends so that is a little bit of information about how plants are created how they're carried from one area to another how the seeds are put into the ground there's a lot of different ways it can happen if it's pollen from a plant sometimes wind can take it or like a dandelion seed wind can carry those too so think about the plants you're seeing around your neighborhood, maybe you have some plants at home, what stage they're at. If you can see them, they're probably at the seedling or pollination stage. Most likely seedling at this point. But hopefully when we're back together, or if we have to be out longer, we'll do it virtually like this. We are gonna sprout some seeds in a little while See if we can find some lima bean seeds, some real big ones. Put them in a bag and then we can see all of the stages. Normally when a seed is in the ground, you can't see it happening, but we're gonna have it in a plastic bag with a paper towel. So you are gonna be able to see that plant just breaking through the seed too. <sighs> all right, friends, we had a great meeting today. I will be sharing another video of me reading a book today, and otherwise I will see you guys tomorrow. I miss you all.